back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video. Spring home health and beauty empties. There, I just came up with the title. Got a bunch of random kind of stuff today for, like I said, home, health, beauty, a lot of good crap. So let's just shut up and do it. You don't have to shut up. I'll shut up, but I'll keep talking just about what you came here for. Okay. So we're gonna start with candles. I have five candles, which is kind of a lot. And a lot of these are like Christmas candles because I was like, the last time I did an empties, I guess it was my winter empties. So I was using up my Christmas candles. So they're in this. So we'll do those first. This is the Bath and Body Works Peppermint Marshmallow Candle. I freaking love this and I will totally repurchase it. It sounds like it could be really intensely sweet and overbearing, but somehow it isn't. It's very light and kind of like crisp and clean, but a, a kitchen scent, it's really nice. So don't be discouraged by the like super sweet title of it because it's really really good and I almost kind of prefer it to the twisted peppermint which I love twisted peppermint I've been buying this for years Bradley loves this one as well so I will obviously continue buying I feel like when he makes a statement that he likes a candle or something like I'm like okay well I got to keep getting that for Bradley anything with peppermint he usually tends to like he's not usually a fan of vanilla y things which is a bummer because that's what I like I mean he doesn't not like them he just tends to gravitate more towards like earthy scents and he loved this which works out for me because I also love it so two peppermint candles. And then the last Christmas candle is the Vanilla Bean Noel. This is the best. I would typically use this as a kitchen candle, but it smells so good. It would be good anywhere in the house. So, um, you guys know I love Vanilla Bean Noel. It is my go-to Christmas candle scent, and I love it. And I liked the nice, like, green jar this year. I have one more Bath & Body Works candle. This is the White Gardenia, which seems like it should be, like, my jam, because I love floral scents and I love gardenia. This, to me, was, like, a little bit too strong. Like, it was very intense when you were burning it, which maybe that's good for for a lot of people but I had this burning in my office beauty room area and it's kind of a smaller room so maybe that's the issue but it was just overpowering to the point that I didn't enjoy it so I wouldn't repurchase this but at the same time my candle preferences have kind of shifted because I do enjoy my oil diffusers much more now and it's kind of like a more lighter scent throughout the house so I think maybe that's why this was overbearing. I just uploaded um, a home haul in which that had some candles in it so I'll link it up there if you missed that because I picked up some new candles because I'm like I'm completely out of candles besides like fall candles so I picked up some new ones you can see that up there but when I was buying I was kind of steering clear of anything super florally because I was afraid it would be overbearing like this so I wouldn't repurchase this but I know a lot of people love it so I don't know go I don't know okay <laughs> I always feel so bad like giving something my stamp of disapproval and it could be like something you would really love but you know it's all subjective it's all personal so Hopefully you don't take anything I say too seriously. And one last candle from Anthropology, which I loved. This is the Amber Bergamot. Mont? Bergamot? I don't know who this is by, but every time I go on Anthropology, I see a ton of these, like different prints, different scents. And I picked up this one and I totally loved it. However, it did not burn evenly and it looks like I could burn so much more, but like I tried and I could not. But you know how much this drives me crazy? Like burn freaking evenly candle. It's not that hard. Or maybe it is. I don't know. And on the inside of the lid, it says fancy that in the fun floral writing. But this was just beautiful, like on our little entry table and it smelled really, really good. Not too strong and overbearing, but definitely had a nice scent throw and it's a soy candle so it's a little bit better for you to be breathing in and I would totally repurchase these they're expensive though they're 20 bucks but I would say worth it besides the not burning evenly we'll have to fix that next time next I have some health empties we'll start with this this is the Epsom salt for soaking this is um, from it's the target brand it's revitalizing eucalyptus and spearmint and Epsom salt is basically like a soothing aid for your muscles uh, to take a bath in and this smells so good like I can, I can still smell it I love the combination of eucalyptus and spearmint scents like it's just so nice and just energizing and just relaxing at the same time it's very odd I'm growing spearmint in my garden fancy that I've heard that this does wonders for like sore muscles and I have hip issues like I just I just have achy hips it just is what it is achy joints all around and whenever my hips are acting up especially if it's raining like I always know when it's raining because I wake up and my elbows hurt which makes me sound like Karen from Mean Girls like there's a 30% chance that it's already raining but like I literally can feel the weather in my joints <laughs> so if my joints are bothering me I'll usually grab this or if I've been like working out too much or I overstretched or you know just anything's bothering me this stuff really does work like your body feels so much better afterwards and you can google all of the like benefits that it has but I was looking for Epsom salt and I got and I was looking in Target I couldn't find like a non 
scented bag of it. So I bought this one, which I liked the scent, but it doesn't really mix well with a lot of the Lush products I use. So I was making like a bath cocktail with a bath bomb and these, and it would clash scents. So I did repurchase these, but I tried the lavender ones this time because a lot of my Lush stuff has lavender in it already, and I feel like that would be nice. And you basically just run the water and dump, it says two cups of this as the water's running, so they kind of dissolve by the time you get in, and it works like a charm for me. So I would highly recommend, and I love this like new little part of my bath routine. I have some essential oil empties. The first one is actually a Moulin and Sparrow little thing of lavender oil, excuse me, French lavender oil. It says body oil, but on, I got this in uh, a Fab Fit Fun box, I believe, and on the card it said you could also use this in your bath, which I did, and I totally loved it. It, oh, it smells so good. Just smells like lavender, and again, I use a lot of lavender products, so just a little bit of this in my bath water made the lavender scent even more strong and made the bath water a little bit more moisturizing, and I really enjoyed that, so... Okay. And then I used up three of my like go-to essential oils. First up is the Now brand Jasmine. These are all the Now brand. This is the Jasmine oil. It's not pure Jasmine oil because that would be super expensive and I'm not willing to pay that. But it smells incredibly of Jasmine. And the other oils in there are kind of just like carrier oils. Still better to breathe in than a candle. And I use this for diffusing purposes. I, in fact, I use this one back here for um, usually Jasmine and lavender in the bedroom. I like that combination. Most times though, I will just use Jasmine and it smells really, really good. Um, and just a few drops will do. And then I used up two of my favorite citrus ones. This is the 100% pure and certified organic orange oil, which this was amazing. And I also have lemon oil. I don't know why this one's organic and this one's not. I guess I just bought what I bought. But I love citrus oil. I have like all the citrus oils. Lemon, orange, tangerine, lime, grapefruit. I think that's it. <laughs> These are what I blend throughout the apartment, um, like in the living room, just for like a nice uplifting scent that always smells good and really clean. And I use lemon. I use both of these actually a lot in like the kitchen when I'm cleaning. Cleaning. Sometimes I will sprinkle this in the dishwasher if the dishwasher is smelling kind of rank, which it kind of does sometimes, so this always helps immediately. I make my own fridge deodorizer with one of these two oils, um, clean the microwave with these two oils. Like, I just use citrus oils all the time, and I'm constantly going through them, so I obviously repurchased these two. And the jasmine oil, I've repurchased all three. Now let's do skincare! So, I used up some makeup wipes. Of course, I used up my favorite Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. I talk about these in every favorites video, or empties video. But if this is your first one, just a quick recap. They're cheap, they're super effective, they don't break me out, they get off all of my, uh, I don't know why I'm counting, they get off all of my mascara regardless of what I'm wearing with one wipe. I don't need more than one wipe. And they just do a really good job of getting off my makeup and I love them. Love, love, love these. Like I usually hate everything else in comparison. However, I did try these Sephora Rose Cleansing Wipes, which I wouldn't say these are the best at getting off makeup. They definitely don't do a good job of getting off your eye makeup. I needed eye makeup removal when I used one of these, but I still use them up. These would be lovely for like a plane ride. Like if, if you're not wearing makeup, you just want to like wipe your face down. They smelled incredible. They didn't break me out. I've been loving everything from the Sephora Rose line. And I got this in like a Black Friday gift set that I bought. And I really like these. I like the packaging. They're not the best for taking off makeup, but maybe as like a cleansing wipe. They're much better. Also along the same lines, I have this Burt's Bees cleansing oil with coconut and argan oils. I loved this. I got this in some sort of, I think a Burt's box, I believe. This smelled so good, was so good at getting off my makeup. I forgot about this until right this minute and now I want to go buy the full size because it was great. I love cleanse off oils or cleansing oils that I can use in the shower because I'm that lazy that it's just, it's just the best to just get in the shower and take off your makeup in there. I do shower at night because I hate washing my face in the sink. I loved this, and I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and now I need it. Now I have some cleansers. I have my Proactive Renewing cleanser that I love. I went a while without using it, and then I repurchased it for my brother's wedding because I just didn't want to fuss with my skin. It just, it works, and I've repurchased it since because it works really well. I also used up and loved this Kate Somerville Detox Daily Cleanser. I got this from Octoly a while ago. I reviewed this already, um, and I loved this, and actually Kate Somerville sent over a package. I did a PR haul. I'll link that up there as well, and they sent the full size of this, and I'm so stoked to have it. It did an amazing job of clearing up my skin, which I could actually use it now. I got some spots that need clearing. But I love the packaging of it because you just twist this thing open and then you squirt it out and it's kind of this yellow color and it smells kind of citrusy. And it's great. And the full size is about 35 bucks, which is expensive, but for skincare, it's kind of more worth it because you're investing in your skin base. So I would highly recommend it. I also used up two small sizes of the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I freaking love this stuff. I've been talking about it since like last, like November 2015 because I got a a sample of it then and I've kind of like 
had samples of it around ever since and it is my favorite and Kate Somerville just sent over a full size so I'm really excited but it's basically an exfoliant mask that you use in the shower or whatever I use it in the shower I leave it on for two minutes and then you rinse it off and it just is really tingling and invigorating and does a really good job of exfoliating and I've talked about it a lot so I'll move on I have two of my favorite toners this is the lush tea tree water toner I ran out of this like two days ago I've already repurchased it I was at the mall getting my phone fixed because I freaking cracked the screen I've had iPhones for so long and I loved the fact that I never dropped one and shattered the screen, but I did it last weekend and I got it fixed. I, I couldn't deal with it. I had to get it fixed. <laughs> but while I was there getting it fixed, I went into the Lush store and picked up another one of these. This is a really nice kind of light, gentle, yet effective toner water. It has tea tree in it, which I always say my skin reacts really well to tea tree. It helps clear up my breakouts. And I use this morning and night. I freaking love it. And I just love Lush toner waters. They just smell so good. I also love this Clinical Care Skin... Sh I can't talk today. This is going to be the worst to edit. <laughs> Sorry future Amy, love you. This is the Clinical Care Skin Solutions Conquer Zit Tone Zit. This is an oil acne toner. Um, I don't have oily skin, but I do have acne prone skin, so I like this. It smells like spearmint. When it's in there, it's the color. It's like a green color. It's kind of just like really minty and refreshing and kind of cooling on your skin, so I used this in the morning before like my moisturizer and makeup and stuff, and I really liked it, and I would totally repurchase it. I have a couple of eye creams. I have my favorite eye cream, the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. It's paraben free. This is drugstore, but it still is about 20 bucks, but it lasts me a really long time. I'm kind of using up some other samples that I have on hand before I repurchase it, but this is my favorite. And honestly, I don't really like other things compared to this because this does such a good job. And I try more expensive ones and just like, this is just my favorite one. Which speaking of, I tried this Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Cream with Glacial Flower Extract. I didn't read that before. This is just like a little stick. It was like a twist up situation and it kind of has this rubbery nozzle that you're supposed to use to rub it in, but I didn't like that, so I would just use my finger. This was okay. I thought it was super expensive, but I think it's like somewhere in between 20 and 30 bucks. I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. I'll have all this linked down below if you're interested, or what I can find. But I think at like the same price, this does a much better job, and it smells better, and it's just, it's, this is the best. This is my all-time favorite, and it's hard to compare. <laughs> I used up a face oil. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is like an elixir. I mentioned this in a products I dislike video, which I'll link it up there. And this was one of my like meh products. I didn't hate it to the point where I wasn't going to finish it, but I just don't see the hype around this. Like everybody and their mom talks about how much they love this and it is a nice oil. It smells nice and relaxing like rosemary. And I complained that it like wasn't hydrating enough even though it was an oil and some of you guys were like yeah it's a dry oil you have to use something on top of it but then I was just like what's the point like I don't know it's a nice oil I just uh, there's so many more cheaper ones that I like better than this so I used it up and it was okay but I much prefer my pixie rose oil over this I used up a face mask which I definitely want to repurchase but I'm waiting to use up the glam glow one this is the L'Oreal pure clay mask this is the detox and brighten mask this is a total dupe if not better for the Glam Glow Clearing Mud Treatment. I did a whole video on it. I will link it right up there. It is incredible and it's so much cheaper. This is 10 bucks. That other mask is $70. It's one of those masks that pulls the dirt out of your pores and the grease and you can see it when the mask dries. It's so satisfying and it's so much fun. I've recommended this to everyone in my life. Like my friends have it. My sister has it. My boyfriend asks to use it sometimes. Like it is a great mask for such a great price. It's usually cheapest at Target. I will link it down below, but I definitely want to repurchase this and I want to use up more of my masks because I want to tr they have three of these and I want to try all three in the range so love this could not recommend it enough. I have a couple lip empties. I have two of my Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey that I used up. This is my favorite. I have it in every room of the house and in my purse and in my car and it's just the best so. And then I used up my Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm which I promised myself I was never going to repurchase but guess what I did. <laughs> I actually just repurchased it and just got it in the mail yesterday from the Sephora VIB sale. You can't see it but it's a really nice light pink color. It's it smells incredibly of roses, but not fake roses. It smells so good. And it's just nothing else compared to it to me. Like I like to use this right before bed. And when I wake up, it's still a little bit on there. It's really moisturizing, but it's 30 bucks, which is way too much money. If you have a dupe for this or something comparable along the same lines, super moisturizing while you sleep, let me know because I'd like to not spend the $30, but I usually pick one up during VIB Rouge sales because like I am obsessed with it and it's it's so lovely. It's just the best. I have a couple body care empties. The first is a winter candy apple shower gel. Another one of my favorite 
Bath and Body Works Christmas scents, but I found out that I don't like this really in candle form, so I stuck to shower gel, and I love this, and I also found out that I can't use up more than one shower gel in the span of time for Christmas. I actually, like, just finished this in March, but that's okay. It wasn't super wintry, but it's, it's still really nice. I tend to really like apple scents across the board, no matter what it is, so I love this, and I'm sure you've smelled it as well, because it's a staple. It's a classic. I have two Body Shop Body Butters, and they're actually kind of, I think these are both, like, limited edition scents, but if I can find them, I'll link them down below. I got this one on sale, like I think we went um, day after Christmas shopping on accident and I got this that day. And then this one I got at TJ Maxx. So they're kind of random scents. This one is the Atlas Mountain Rose, Ooh, which it <laughs> I feel the same. The first time I used this, I was kind of like immediately grossed out. I was like, this is not what I want to be wearing. But then like the next day it was kind of lingering and, it re and I really liked the way it smelled. So I tried it again. I eventually got used to the way it smelled. I wouldn't repurchase it because it wasn't my favorite scent. It just kind of smells like musky roses, which sounds really gross, but that's what it smells like. It's just kind of like a warm rose scent. It's very interesting, but you guys know I love the formula of these body butters. I just kind of go through different scents to see what I like. I loved this papaya. Yeah, papaya body butter. I'd never seen this before. I just used this up. Look what I almost wasted. How rude. This smells so freaking good. And if I would see this scent again at like TJ Maxx or something, I would totally pick it up. I used up my deodorant, my men's deodorant. This is the Degree Men's Dry Protection Cool Rush. Must be in the Cool Rush scent. It smells like baby shampoo. It smells really good. And I just find this to be really effective for workouts and things like that. I want to try to find a natural deodorant. If you have a favorite, let me know down below. But for now, this works really, really well. And don't judge me because it's men's because it works really well. I have a few hair empties. Just a couple samples and a dry shampoo. The first one is this Oribe Gold Lust Mask, which I really, really liked. Um, I know Oribe is expensive. I didn't think this did anything incredible for my hair that my macadamia mask doesn't do. But it was really nice and it smelled really good. I just know this is really expensive. And my hair, like, doesn't care how much a product is usually. Like, it's just like, eh, okay, it's moisturizing, great. You know, like, it's, to me, hair care is different than makeup because, I don't know, my hair hair just kind of is okay with everything unless it's like a bad product or unless it's dry shampoo but like as far as masks go it was okay I don't think I'd spend the hefty price tag on this I would just want my macadamia mask and then I used up a daddy-o lush shampoo sample and I really really liked this I think this is their version of a purple shampoo which I don't know why the woman gave it to me but when I used it my hair like looked a little bit lighter it was nuts like I remember I used it and then I filmed a couple videos and I was editing them and I was like damn my hair but I really loved the scent of this and I just loved the form formula overall. I've tried the Lush shampoo bars. My favorite is the Godiva one. And I just love the Lush shampoos because the scent lingers for a couple of days, which I really like. They do a really good job of cleaning your hair. I want to try their big shampoo that's like supposed to be exfoliating for your scalp. Um, I just love Lush and I'm getting more and more into Lush stuff besides the bath products. So... I liked this and I would totally buy it. And then I used up a dry shampoo. This is the Oscar Blondie dry shampoo spray. Not my favorite. My favorite dry shampoo is the Elizabeth James White Nirvana dry shampoo. Nothing compares to that. I and mean, this was okay. It just isn't that other sh dry shampoo. So I wouldn't repurchase it. Now I have some makeup, which I don't have a lot, but I do have a foundation empty, which is exciting for me at least. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. It looks like it's full, but I can't get another goddamn drop out of here. This is probably my favorite foundation. I have another shade that I'm using up. I had two shades that were too dark for me, but I mix in my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white, and it does a really good job. I'm actually wearing the other shade I have today. It's just the best foundation. It's very lightweight. I talk about this all the time, so I'm sure you've heard of me talking about it. I use a beauty blender to apply it. I will repurchase it again when my other bottle is out because it is the best, and I love it, and... I used up a concealer and I really used it up. Like I didn't have any backup concealers and I like, I don't know, I was being lazy and didn't go buy a new one. And so I was scraping this. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade 15, which is fair. I really, really like this. It doesn't pull pink on me. This is very comparable to me to the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer, which I'm currently using. I usually have both on hand and I kind of go back and forth, but it's great and I love it. And it does a really good job for a drugstore concealer. And the last three are kind of boring because I talk about them all the time. I have have a CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Black Brown. You guys know this is my favorite mascara of all time. Just trust me and try it if you haven't already because it's the best. And then I have my Anastasia products. This is the Anastasia Brow Clear Brow Gel, which I've already repurchased. It's like super glue. 
It's like super glue for your brows and if you have unruly brows like me, you need it. And then this is the Anastasia Brow Definer, which I, this is good I'm talking about this because every time I do my brows or talk about my brows in a video, I say that I like the Brow Wiz better. But within the last month or so, I think I've decided I like this one better and when I repurchased it, I repurchased this and not the Brow Wiz. I am in the shade taupe. This one is pretty much empty, but this one is kind of like a slant, which makes it really easy to do the front of your brows and then if you want a thinner point you just turn it and use it so I kind of feel like at first I wasn't sure like I didn't know how to use it but now that I know how to use it I am obsessed and I love it and I repurchase it and it has a spoolie on the other end which makes it really good for like blending so you finish this then you put on the brow gel and then you're set for the rest of the day it's the best and I love it, and I will have it linked down below. But okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I talked for a very long time, and I need some tea. I'm actually drinking watermelon lime tea right now. Well, not right now. It's sitting over there, but I can't wait to have some. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more empties videos, I will have my playlist linked right up there. Please subscribe for more videos. I will have my face right here, so you can just click that and be subscribed. And if you already are subscribed, please scroll down and click the bell button so you'll be notified to my videos, and you'll know the minute I upload, which is obviously really exciting and my latest video will be down in that corner I love you guys I will see you on social media which I'll have the links somewhere on the screen and yeah I love you guys I'll talk to you very soon and I hope you have a great day bye